and uh, so this is called a letter. A letter. The floods left the penance of the winter. No, that's just trash. The permanent, the parti-colored driftwork of the February noon, climbing up the banks. The floods left the damage for the summer. That's just for a start. A decadent star damage, the land grab, repossessing lots. My dreams repeat the parts that you left by representing fall in periodic style. Let's just try to reattach the spring where it belongs. So some spring poems, I guess, because it seems like fighting for the spring to come. We were waiting in the spring for our bodies to return. We were waiting in the fall. We were waiting in the winter for the dead to see our shadows. The Porcythia exploded. Was it dew or was it weeping? It was hell smeared on our faces. In the morning, as we mixed the silt with blood, you could wash it off with anger. It was there again that evening. We collided with the future. Was it spring or all desertion? The risk, the total starlessness, the branches, and the broken thorns. The dead arrived to ask us, and I went outside without you. When this winter came, I lost you. When the spring came, to the hurrying doves, was this our punishment? Come here and look. The commodus is fragrant. See it climbing the trellis, where the soul was indivisible. The surface of the river fills with light, the spring already fading. Are these questions, are they prayers? And this is called Carolina Song. I'm going to try to keep an eye on what time you By that time, you were sleeping in your car. You drove across the bridge, across the river. The interest rate was 19 cents a day. By that time, the nameless flowers stripped the air. You left the bar with a black eye. The interest rate was lower. Was this a better year? By that time, you drove halfway home alone. Late June, black-eyed Susans in the parking lot. By that time, the song says, stay with me. My fears are drifting by me. The clear cutting will continue. The interest rate, the flowers shattering in the rear view. Waking up alone, alive, apart again, so slowly. The alternating numbers in the sky, the app that traces heaven, and contentment has to become sadness. You were sleeping, you were saying, by that time, and that has a blank line by Phil Collins in it, unfortunately, I'm sorry. <laughs> Say that after the poem. Um, this is called, uh, this is called Southern Equine. These are kind of like ballad type poems. I'll read some sonnets that are a little looser after that. Uh, we were doing a translation at Topeed. It read like a defense of God. The spring was right on time that year. I was afraid the university was bad for all of us. I saw two boys with fake wisteria stuffing it in their hair. You were afraid there wasn't enough time left as you got older. I saw two boys with our confessions. They trailed me to the bridge and left me there. This was when we first became friends. Nothing here is metaphor or transcendence. The book was a critique of imminence. Waking, I can see that you're not here. You know our friends in the university. Some of them want to blow it up. This is uh, Uneven Development, which is about that in Greenville, South Carolina. Waking up so still, the seasons are so long here. Your sister's only interested in space. My sister's only interested in space. The birds sound like meteors. The seasons are so long now. Waking up like this, did you stray into the frame? The poems end in your proximity. But all the stupid lines in the poem, false starts in the trees, Tried to write about the midwinter days, and on the ground, a sense that we don't belong here. Waking up to this, do you want to go to the punk club on Pleasantburg, or sit in the middle of the road and look at the sign for St. Francis? What will happen when you go? No guitars and the dune birds, and the end of infrastructure. What metaphor would hurt this? To the water in the cities? Did you run into the fields from November? Did you specialize in desecration? 11 condos going up, 40 minutes door to door. Um, so Sam, uh, I, I have like 110% of the poets you mentioned as the five, four, five <laughs> poets. <laughs> I try to trip a few of them, leave a few of them out. Uh, st uh, stand, <laughs> standing by the door reading Diane de Prima. Uh, birds in the hedges, uh, it can't be what we wanted. It's February, Betty's in the hospital. If you look closely, first flakes now falling. Birds under the air, it can't be what we wanted. You'll be home around 7. Are you trying to escape me in Norristown? Oh, we're alive at 7, and only the shadows are cobalt blue. No, 
No, no, no, it can't be anything we wanted. From the hedges into the light of February, there isn't anywhere else to go. And that's called the Triumph of Life, also by Greenville, South Carolina. Um, some of these are a little old. There are there are a time when I was trying to understand why I was living where I was living and trying to write poems to do that, which is a like self-destructive effort, you know, in some ways. Uh, questions for Jillian Rose. We're at the limits of the city all the time now, picking up ashes. Some of the students are winded. They enter the classroom already flickering. How is each repetition of the scene the same? Has the noise of the birds been there all the time? A thin wire held up to let the day pass under, like a radio left on in another room. The wind has nothing to teach. There is no wind over the branches. The sky removes the world as it was. It was clouded in the morning, covered in ice. Oh, the words paint so many pictures, but they're all just bad word pictures. Uh, and this one is called a necessary error. The beauty of the world is to continue, locked in duration, in the protracted dawn, in the brutal air, in the disappointed air, sure. The sun, a giant band-aid, floats behind the giant hunting blind. It's a surprise to find you warm again in bed. It's much better for me to sit here alone and wait beneath the disappointed plants. There are, there are a lot of deaths so far, and that's how it was in the milder weather. It was the evening of the day, and the worst had already happened. It was morning when I was walking in the public gardens. It's pretty if it ends in unison. You're a piece of shit for thinking so. Uh, and this is the last of these uh, Greenville poems, um, Profane Landscape. It's not actually what this is. Um, sky, sky above the tree line. It's iridescent, fuzzy porcelain, and it hurts to look. Scratches in the window. Certified sourcing. Trace the arc of the maple as a habit of thought. Is there an opening for thought? Is this a staircase routine? The total skylessness, the time you spent here. Is this a floodplain of life? What sense for sound withholds? Spinning gold, spinning gold into straw. In this poem, um, so Lindsay, my uh, Prairie's poet and, and I were, we were trying to see if we should live in like a, in like a condo. There was nowhere else to live in this place. And we, we were getting taken around this condo, and the person living next to the condo took us through this like totally desolated area. There was nothing. And we said, What's in this part of the condo? And she said, Oh, this is just wasted empty space. <laughs> and we said, Okay, so this is poem is called Wasted Empty Space. The stranded imported poplars next to the evangelical upholstery still means death. In five years, I've listened to a new song every day, and I've never been invited to anyone's dinner. I think about what it's like to grow up here. February is hard, but March feels permanent. There are only so many places to go for the weekend, and you can't save yourself or anyone else by looking harder at the landscape. The landscape makes less sense than you want it to. This is the walk we always argue on. The light stands up like an empty billboard. The wind stays up in the mountains. Um, so, uh, okay. So now uh, I'm going to read some very, very different poems that have a slightly different tenor and are less dedicated to excoriating the particular area of the southeast where I live for a while. See, I'm getting out some demons here, evidently. Thank you for being willing. Oh, it's it's your <laughs> idea. Um, this poem is called. Uh, False Dawn. And these are, I think, love poems for the rest of it. Waking, you're delighted. Oh, a long, loud cry, but the dog's not there. You were dreaming. I woke looking at the hands you said were beautiful. All this dead end summer, the hours at the end of the day debriding hope, the hours in the morning asking fear to stay beside us. These are the years beyond perfection, days the cone flowers rock from side to side like particles suspended in the drying early front range of air. Yesterday, I already regretted the anger I felt over dinner in the middle of it happening, but earlier we talked about our mothers like adults, like children. And this is a 
set of three sonnets, and they're called um, a different ending. Apparently, that's what they're called. Fourteen years in the southeast, fifteen. The winter first is dull, then beautiful, then sad. My days hang on and last, while the heat turns ash to flower, flower back to ash. I threw myself against my life until it cracked. We changed houses, the news got worse. We changed and changed houses. The weather ended altogether. Finally, we lived on a hill. The neighbors shocked the dog when they appeared. One built a fence around the backyard. All of us at loose ends, trying to protect each other. I watched you watch me dressing in the morning, but by that time I was living alone, and evening stared me down. Nothing learned. I sing the same songs and get older. The commons is deserted. Municipal Worcester glooms at the height where miracles could be. It suddenly seems like there was never anyone here. Nauseous walking under the bridge to Green Island, I noticed the trees, the bars, the trees turning red, the rust and urine stain of sky departing earth, and feel my body heavy in the same atmosphere. The bonds of heaven, what good is all experience when the soul slips out at night and won't return? At the bookstore, thumbing through Severus. What I must guard against is that my life is measured. But I wanted to learn by rote the things that make you happy and leave in the morning in the thick summer air. Um, I think maybe just a couple more. This one for Jimmy Cummins, who uh, was with me when I wrote this uh, poem. Uh, over there, we spent a brief time in Ireland where um, we nearly went uh, completely crazy. Uh, no trees. Uh, the wind carries the smoke across the heather. The wind carries the smoke over the harbor. The wind carries the smoke across the heather. A shape all life. The room is all life. After heaven, after heaven, we were particles. It has nothing to do with language. Language is a spray, a shape made after the weather, after the water. You sit there in the back, in intuiting directions. Whole of life, bitter spray. Experience, Young says, is the process, not the past. It's better to walk without directions on the first day of spring. Two substances like smoke and foam. The first day of spring begins. Stay near me in abstract heaven. I can only hear you breathing. And uh, this one, uh, finally, is a return to some of the, those uh, quatrain poems. It's, it's called Summer Seminar. Um, and again, thanks, Isla, for, for having me. Uh, we were leaving California when the language turned against us. And we, thought, and we talked about the desert and a ballet and moonlight. Creosote and sage, the nation was against us. Dancing seemed improbable. I missed you when you left. You left and said it's probable that someone is against us. In the middle of a course on value, the East Coast caught on fire. The West Coast caught on fire. At 10,000 feet in California, nothing we could see below us, younger than a 1,000 years. Their values are against us. You found love in California. It wasn't exactly what they wanted. Rub your fingers with creosote together, and it smells like rainfall in the desert at the end of August, when some of our friends were badly hurt. Thanks.